Hey, how's everybody doing today? Back with another short video. I ended up picking up, I guess they would call this the extension that turns the regular F16 grip into the EX version, I suppose. Or maybe it's just some extra buttons. Anyways, you know, me being me being me, I, I attached it real fast to see if everything was nice and smooth with it. And actually what I found is when I tightened it all the way down, now I don't know if they all come like this. See, it's got a little, it says it passed. I, I, I wouldn't have passed it, but when you tighten, okay, it comes with some, a couple little screws. You take out the rubber on the grip you don't take out the, the, the screw to the, you know, furthest to the front of where, say, this would be nose wheel steering button. That's your nose wheel steering button. So the screw right in back that you don't take out. And they're very little screws. They're just little tiny shot things. And they end up giving you these longer ones, obviously, because it has to go through the little extension piece. So you take the screws out and you pull a little rubber there's just a little rubber plug that goes in there. Once I got it all attached, I, I tightened it up and it fits pretty good. I, not too thrilled that it's made of plastic. It would have been much better if it was made of metal to the texture that this is, but it's not cheap by any means. The plastic's plenty heavy. It, it's just kind of doesn't match up with it, you know, for 50 bucks. But, so you have a screw that goes through here a screw that goes through here. This one's a, this one isn't no issue at all, but when I tighten this one up, see, it, this is what it's supposed to do. So technically your hand's like this. There's one thumb button. It's kind of like a slew button, and this one's more like a, a it's kind of a castle button, kind of like your Demas button would be. So they also give you a few extra little wires and stuff. They're very good, but they give you extra screws, extra wires, which is cool. So when you're using it, it should, should do this. And then you have a, another switch up that you can assign to an off or whatever you want. So see, it looks good there. But with the spacing in it right here, once I tightened it, so because what would happen is holding the stick, when I was pushing on the button, I could feel it jiggling a little because if I tightened it up too much, this would get stuck. So what I'm gonna do is just put, no, I'm not even gonna put like enough pressure like to the point where if I was tightening it. So we'll take a look at that. I don't want this to be too blurry. Let me focus on my hand. Okay, so we're right in this area. So you can see the little groove right there. Once you tighten that down, give it a little squeeze, watch what happens. Now, I can get it to go down and start to go up, but it's very sticky. And when they're both tightened, see that, that's, and that's not even really tightening as much as having a screw. When you have the screws going through, you're putting more pressure directly in that area. So what I'm gonna do is, like I said, you know me, I always gotta get myself into some kind of trouble. I'm gonna use a Dremel, and then I'm gonna use a very fine micro-type fiber cloth to get it clean again. And we're gonna open this up. You know I already did, because I'm not gonna do something knowing I could mess it up and have springs flying out all over and look like a yo-yo on YouTube. Okay. So we have some self-threading. I think they're like 2.5 millimeters, <laughs> kind of irrelevant. Well, maybe not. Carefully open it up and this cover right here will come off. It is attached to a little board. So you wanna feed this through out and over. You have another little board that's connected in there where it has triggers. And that was a little concerning seeing this part of the metal going in there, but it actually doesn't really hit anything. But when I looked at it, I can see where it's rubbing. It's right in this area. But I, 
noticed not on this side. There it is again. I cleaned it up and now it's back. You can see where it's scraping. Is it a little white area? Let's get a good look at it. So you can see where it's rubbing. Okay. As well as you can see where it's rubbing right there. You can see how the plastic is getting scuffed. So let's see if we can fix it. I'm not going to drag you through that whole part of the video. I'm going to do a very, very little, and I'm going to put a little bit of grease on it, and hopefully we can solve the problem. Very little bit of, very little bit of, um, probably like a silicone type grease. A dab, barely enough to even see. It's just going to maybe put a little gloss on it because you don't want that getting all over the place. So we'll be back. As soon as I do that, we'll get this connected. And as far as... The extra buttons work and they work fine. Um, you can assign them to anything. The little trigger thing works cool. You can use it to pull three times and use it for an eject. Uh, uh, pretty much anything. You can assign it as, you know, um, a, a switch or uh, even like something um, like a slew type. Well, well, not a slew, but say a. Uh, a knob type button. Anyway, whatever, whatever you choose. Sim, Simat Pro is an awesome program, I think. It's very easy to use, and, and you can do a lot with it. So, all right, we'll be back in a few. I'm talking too much. I need some less coffee. I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are, back again. Everything looks pretty good. What I'm gonna, I just took a little bit off. Actually, this little handle, once I started sanding it down, I noticed it was made of, um, Looks like aluminum. So that is the only pretty much aluminum piece on here. So we're gonna get it attached and screwed on and we're gonna see how it works. Had to cut out for a minute there and go wash my hands. So one of the things I noticed when you attach this to shorten it up a little bit, you just wanna turn it. Give it a few turns, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So where the little tabs, where the little um, connectors are exposed, you can see where that's gonna line up. On, it's hard to see here, I'm, I know it is, but the little connectors where they're exposed go to the, I guess that would be your weapons release button. That's the way it would face. And it's definitely snug to put on. And yeah, I had to get some tweezers to get that little sucker in there. Another thing you wanna do is when you're putting this on, like I said, try to give it a couple twists to get the slack out of it, okay? And get it tucked right in the opening. When you look at it, you shouldn't be able to see any of the red wire. Moment of truth. Everything looks good. <clears throat> Doesn't move. Let's see what happens here. Nice. Snaps all the way up, feel let it release. Exactly the way I wanted it. Nice now. So pretty much that's it. As far as how you hooked it up um, in the settings, as far as how you set things in the game, in your control settings, that's all up to you. It's nice to have some extra buttons. I mean, even if you don't have a slew, you can always use this one if you're using a different throttle that doesn't really have a slew button on it for the 18 or the 16. I pretty much all of them have it. This is more like your, your DMS. So you got an N. It's a five-way. 
same here. You can either, in the SIM app Pro, you know how you can change it. So you can put it for like a button setting or a slew. One way or the other, it has five settings. These two feel almost identical. That one's a little cracklier than this one, although I've had to stick for a while longer, so it's not as clicky, I guess. Oh, maybe. Uh, pretty much the same. But anyways, there it is. Looks good. I'm happy with it. Does exactly what I want it to do now. more sticking. If you release it just like regular release, it'll go up and it doesn't go all the way. You can use your trigger and if you want to pop it up, up. If you let it snap, that's how it'll end up. A regular, you know, let it loosen in a regular manner. Okay folks, I know it was shot and Probably pretty much meaningless to 99% of the world, but I figured I'd just put it out. I've got the uh, cam kit coming for the F-18 base with the damper set, so I'm going to hook that up because I really, really... Oh, somebody's alarm beeping out there. I really don't like the... Um, I don't like the bounciness in, in the 18 stick. It's just too much. So adding the dampers to them on the inside and some heavier springs will get rid of that problem. The old Super Libra, that was the ideal stick. I, I, I know the cam system on it was a little kind of weird because they didn't overlap like in the Orion 2 where the cams kind of went like this so you constantly have motion on the cams that kind of, they kind of meet in the middle but when it's adjusted right it's it's from what I've seen it looks basically like it's unnoticeable and I've been looking for one I'm probably gonna pick up a used one just to try it out I seen one the other day on eBay and I, I bid on it it was $75 and I was at work and I wasn't paying attention and some other guy went on there and he outbid me by like two dollars I was like so bum but Another one will pop up. Anyways, folks, I hope this helps someone out. If you are new to the channel, feel free to give it a like and subscribe. If you're one of my regulars, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share. Like I said, I always will say, can't do without you. Everybody, have a great day.